Good morning, everyone. Today I am going to discuss about radar cross section of target. So here, the radar cross section of the target, nothing but. So the first point is nothing but the radar cross section sigma is the property of scattering object. The sigma is the sigma is the it is denoted by the sigma is the property of scattering object or target to represent the magnitude of the echo signal returned to the radar by the target here so means here let us see this word here here we, we can observe here there are two words one is cross section of the target and second one is radar the cross section of the target that will be related to the radar okay so here the radar cross section is done at the target not at radar and it is denoted as sigma so this is having the property it is called scattering suppose here scattering means uh, let us uh, see here so this is our uh, radar station here like this so this is the antenna so here our it is the target here so this is the target we can transmit the signal on this particular uh, into the space those signals are reaches to the target Okay, and here it is a, a cross section as it is a sigma denoted as cross section. So this is related here. It is uh, how much amount of area is cross section cross cross section of this particular area on this uh, um, target. After hitting those signals are scattering scattered in a different ways, and some of the signals are received to the radar receive station. Remaining are scattered. So those signals are processing at the radar receive station. So the cross section of the target here, and then that is the reflectivity. The cross, scatter, cross section of the targets are nothing but it is scattering. Scattering means it is the reflectivity of the target. Reflectivity means that reflected back to the radar receive station. So here the reflect the scattering is more because of this the target is very complex size. Okay. So the echo signals are coming back to the radar receive station and processing in this station then we can find out this signal based on that processing signal we can find the target is present or not in the space okay next the radar cross section is a measure of how detectable an object is by radar a large radar cross section is indicates that an object is more easily so means uh, the meaning of this point is here suppose Mm, this is a like this is our radar station and here one more target is there here like this this is one more target here here it is it is simple target here simple target and here it is a complex target here complex target it is the size is big here compared to this target so here suppose we are transmitting signal into the space so there is a simple target is available and these uh, signals are scattering hitting on this particular surface of this uh, simple target and it is given and it is scattered okay for example here uh, the scattering rays are like uh, for example 10 rays are available here here the scattering rays are like here it is 100 100 100 rays are scattering 100 rays are scattering from this particular uh, cross section of the target and compared to these two here out of 100 60% uh, 60 of 60% 60 of signals are received to the radar receive station so out of this 10 only uh, three signals are out of or two signals are received to the radar receive station you can analyze this which one is easy to and which one is easy to easily detect in the target by the radar receive station obviously the complex size is easily detectable by the radar station because of the strength of the signals are very high compared uh, compared to this particular uh, simple target radar echo signals okay that's why he says here radar cross section is a measure of how detectable an, an object is by radar a large cross section indicates that an object is more easily so this cross section is here denoted as sigma and here next point an object reflects a limited amount of radar energy back to the source based on some factors that has influences the radar cross section of the target such factors are nothing but 
the material of which the target is made by using here whatever we are uh, detecting the target such targets are by making which material so based on that property also the scattering property will be reflected back to the radar situation and next one is the absolute size of the target here we are observing two types of target one is simple target other one is the complex target so the size is also very important factor here and next one is the angle the so angle means here angle at which the radar beam hits a particular position of the target which is depends upon the shape of the target suppose here so which angle suppose it is uh, the targets are hitting on the uh, that is nothing but uh, nose of this particular target or tail of this particular or like uh, uh, at this area of this particular target so this is the angle nothing but angle at which the radar beam it's a particular position of the target which depends upon the shape of the target that is the incident angle the next one so here while another important factor here it is here it is nothing but another important factor actually uh, in previous class uh, that sigma is also included in a radar equation but here uh, we can we can we can calculate this particular radar cross section how much amount of how much percentage of radar cross section is available based on that signal and how much amount of uh, signals are received to the radar registration so based on that we can find out the target is available in the project available in the space or not okay next while the another important is another important factor here it is detecting a target that is emitting strength of emitting and distance are not the factors or not factors or affect the calculation of RCS. So here emitting and distance are not affect the calculation of radar cross section that is sigma. Okay. Here the radar cross section is a property of property that is reflectivity. Reflectivity. Reflectivity means reflecting the signals. One is scattering, scattering the signal, scattering. After that scattering, some of the portions are reflected. Uh, after scattering means it is means it is reflected. Uh, after of that scattering signal, some of the signals are received to the radar receiver station and process the signal based on that result. We can find and easily find out the target is present in the space or not. So here, the radar cross section uh, equation in electromagnetic analysis. Uh, this is also commonly written as sigma equal to limit r tends to infinity four pi r square. Uh, scattering the electric field intensity. Uh, scattering, field, scattering electric field intensity by incident electric field intensity. So here where ES and ER are the far field scattered and the incident electric field intensity respectively. However, here we can define two types of target based on the uh, based on radar cross section such as simple target and a complex target. As I told you in the previous uh, first slide there are we are classified two types of uh, radar cross section such as one is a uh, biggest uh, uh, target the one is the smallest target there so these are the two targets here okay and here it is the radar station here it is our antenna you can transmit the signal like here also the, 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 the signals are radiating the space in, in any uh, 360 degrees then uh, here there is a big target is there the scattering is more here the uh, cross section uh, radar cross section area is more here the radar cross section area is less here so compared to this th this one is the biggest target it is a complex target easy to identify the target is present in the space suppose if you are in your in your home there is a uh, two uh, uh, thing two two um, two things there you can observe there is a one ant is there one cockroach is there if you can easily identify you, you, you are here here you are uh, um, stable here if you see those two which one is easily you have to identify it so can obviously cockroach you have to easily identify it compared to and yeah, because the scattering area will be more here the scattering radar cross section area will less be here the radar cross section area will be high here so obviously you are easily identify the cockroach like here also we can easily identify the uh, radar cross section target of this particular uh, complex uh, targets okay next so here based on the radar cross section uh, he, he classified it as two targets such as uh, simple targets and a complex target uh, the, for example in simple target those are nothing but sphere cylindrical and flat 
and core are the simple form of uh, are the example of simple targets coming to the complex target here such as uh, aircraft ship missiles and buildings so these are the complex target okay thank you thank you